Hey, 49ers fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome into Chat Sports, and today we have some fresh San Francisco 49ers news, fresh for you guys here on a Tuesday. A lot of injuries coming from the Sunday win against the New Orleans Saints. We have the full update for you guys here, as well as a look at the NFC West. Obviously, the Niners back on top. We'll show you the path to victory, obviously, to win the number one seed and the West a little bit later on. Let's jump right into the official injury news. Remember, yesterday we had a couple of updates, some ideas about what was happening. Well, head coach Kyle Shanahan met with the media yesterday afternoon and gave a full report on what is going down, starting with Richard Sherman, who suffered a grade two hamstring strain on Sunday against the New Orleans Saints. He had the MRI yesterday, and he's expected to be out a few games, most likely two games is what we're looking at for Richard Sherman, which means, of course, he will be out on Sunday for the matchup against Julio Jones and the Atlanta Falcons. Now, he has had an absolutely fantastic year, three interceptions, 11 pass deflections, 42 solo tackles, as well as a couple tackle or one tackle for a loss. As a whole, though, he has really shored up the right side of that defense, whether he's been across Manuel Mosley, across from Akella Witherspoon. Richard Sherman has been fantastic so far this year. He will be a tough person to replace, but I'm all for making sure he's healthy in time to go for the Seattle game week 17 or the playoffs, depending on how long the hamstring strain does take. So that means you're going to take a keep a kill over there, on one side, and now you bring in your backup Emmanuel Mosley, who we talked about a lot on this show over the past couple of weeks. He is one of the better backup cornerbacks in the NFL, which means there should not be a massive drop-off from Sherman, of course, leaving with the injury and, uh, and, and Mosley being slid right in there. The problem that I have here has to is the fact that it's a hamstring strain, which as we'll see with D4 in a second, those can be re-aggravated very, very easily. So you gotta be very careful when you're bringing Richard Sherman back not to re-aggravate it. Girls, he's gonna be dealing with this the rest of the season. They are very hard to get healthy from, but obviously they're gonna look to Emmanuel Mosley to be their replacement on the outside. What stinks overall, that Richard Sherman was having a Pro Bowl caliber year at cornerback in my opinion. Now, he might still be able to make it, but missing a couple games can definitely hurt his chances there. And that's kind of our first question here for the day before we get on to the uh, center injury to Austin Rickberg, uh, or Weston Rickberg, excuse me. Here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna play an ad on the video. While that happens, just let it run, scroll down and answer this question. Who will be the Pro Bowlers for the 49ers this season? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. How many and who are they, the Pro Bowlers? Go ahead, type it down while the ad runs. We'll jump right into that right now. All right, the other big news, obviously, in terms of injuries, is Weston Rickberg, our center, is done for the year with a, a year with a torn patella tendon. Obviously, carted off the field last season, or last well, on Sunday, I should say, not last season. On Sunday, he was carted off, off the field. Uh, head coach Kyle Shanahan said after the game he was worried, and now this is why it's a torn patella tendon. He is done for the year. That means Ben Garland, the backup center, will be filling in for him, not just the regular season, but for the postseason as well. Here's your current 49ers offensive line. Obviously, Staley, Tomlinson, Garland now, Person, and McGlinchey are going to be your starting five, which is going to be a good starting five. But remember, as important as left tackles are, centers are very important in the NFL as well because they're doing a lot of the protection calls to the quarterback and to the other offensive linemen. They're essentially the quarterback of the offensive line, getting people ready to go. And obviously, uh, a guy like Rick Berg has had a fantastic year so far. So this is a huge blow to the 49ers. They have not had a ton of season-ending injuries. You think about McKinnon. You think, obviously, about Kawan Williams. Add uh, Weston Rickberg to this injury report right now as he will be on, on IR. He will be done for the year with a torn patella tendon. We always update you guys here on the latest news and rumors on our San Francisco 49ers Only Chat Sports YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe. We're like 400 away from 10,000 subscribers in just a couple of months. So if you're not one of them, watch the videos. You like them, click the red subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate that. Also... We're gearing up for Atlanta on Sunday. Great chance for the 49ers to get another win and win you guys some money with our friends over at BetDSI. All you gotta do, chatsports.com forward slash bet. Use the promo code 49ers and you get 120% deposit bonus whenever you sign up. Again, easiest and best way to bet on the 49ers is with BetDSI. Just use our promo code 49ers. That way you guys can win more money by using their money to win more money. So there you go, chatsports.com forward slash bet, use the promo code 49ers. Okay, other injury news. These are the three other big ones. Just want to put them in bullet points. D Ford is going to be out at least three weeks. He has re-injured re -injured the hamstring that kept him out the last couple of games. It is not looking good for him to play in the regular season. They're going to try and get him ready for week 17 against Seattle, but most likely he'll be there for the playoffs, whether that is in the divisional round or in the wild card round if we are unable to win the NFC West. DJ Jones has sprained his ankle. We're unsure in terms of the uh, time frame on this. They're going to try to have him go on Sunday, but that 
will be more of a later in the week decision. And then Kwan Williams, we mentioned this yesterday, is in concussion protocol, so we're not sure in terms of how well that is going. Potentially ready to go for Sunday to play in the slot against Calvin Ridley and Julio Jones, although Ridley is injured. But Kwan Williams is in concussion protocol, which can take a week. Could take a month, because it could take longer. We're not really sure because concussions are all a little bit different. Also, Dante Pettis, who didn't practice this past week, is expected to practice this week. So there's your update on Dante Pettis. And I believe Marquis Goodwin is dealing with a knee injury, and he is unsure if they're easy. He's even gonna play the rest of the year. So there's your full injury update for our 49ers. A lot of stuff going on, a lot of big injuries. Now you have kind of a lull right now in the schedule with Atlanta coming up on Sunday, but you want to get as many of these guys healthy, especially Richard Richard Sherman and D Ford, in time for week 17 in essentially the number one seed in, in division uh, clinching game against Seattle. We'll see what happens, but there's your full injury update. Out of all the injuries though, which injury is concerning you guys the most? Is it D Ford? Is it Sherman? Is it the center? Uh, Weston Rickberg? Is it somewhere else? Let me know what you guys think. I would say the center uh, and, and Richard Sherman are probably my two biggest uh, concerns just because as great as Emmanuel Mosley has been, Richard Sherman has the playoff and Super Bowl pedigree and also mindset, I would say, that a lot of other players do not have because they have not been in that position. So there's my pick. Let me know what you guys think down below. Speaking of picking out some good things, uh, how about some more... 49ers gear on sale. Did this yesterday. Guess what? They're still there. Chatsports.com slash 49 sale. Just Google it or click the link down below in the description or in the comment section. It'll take you guys to a page with a ton of authentic 49ers gear. That way you guys can be swagged out and ready to go for Christmas and the playoffs and the Super Bowl and all that kind of stuff. So again, chatsports.com forward slash 49 sale. Okay, we mentioned that obviously Seattle is kind of the uh, big... Final of the year game to try and get into the postseason in terms of being a one seed or a five seed. Well, the good news at least is that the Niners are back on top of the NFC uh, West. Seattle had that very bad loss to the Rams on Sunday night football just a couple of days ago. The offense really unable to get into the end zone. Their only touchdown was a uh, Jared Goff pick six, which was not a very good play by Jared Goff. Both teams, including the Niners, really all three, the Niners, the Rams and the uh, State Seahawks are all still controlling their own destiny. Again, if the Rams win out, most likely they will be a wildcard team. And then, of course, if the 49ers uh, win out, they'll be the one seed. Seattle wins out, they'll be the one seed. So we know how it's going to go. And you guys are seeing the NFC West standings and the playoff standings right now. Basically, win out. Now, Seattle losing, said this the other day, Seattle losing means that the Niners can technically slip up between now and the Seahawks game. Let's just say Matt Ryan, Julio Jones, ball out at Levi Stadium, unlikely, but it could happen. That would not fully kill their chances at the number one seed because then both teams would have three losses and then you would be able to essentially just win the tiebreaker most likely against Seattle and then the divisional record and all that kind of stuff would, would break down. We've done this before, but win out, you're good to go. The Seattle loss is helpful though. It's all going to come down to week 17 as we've said many, many times. Rams are interesting though at eight and five, not for the division, even though they're technically still alive for it, but overall for a wild card seed, could they get three teams into the wild card? It's unlikely because of Minnesota, but be interesting to see what happens going forward. Okay, final bit of this isn't even really news, it's just fun, because I think you guys enjoy Jimmy Garoppolo content. How about Jimmy Garoppolo going into the San Francisco 49er record books, becoming the third quarterback with four touchdowns in three games this year, or four touchdowns in three games in a season in a Niner uniform. So 48, first off, 48-46 was the highest scoring game between the Niners and the Saints in their history. It was also the highest scoring game in the history of two 10-win football teams in the National Football League. And with Seattle looking bad against the Rams and Jimmy G kind of taking, or not Jimmy G, uh, Russell Wilson having a bad game, it makes Jimmy Garoppolo's four touchdown performance look even better to the point that only Steve Young in 1993 and 1994 and Jeff Garcia, remember him in 2000, are the only other 49er quarterbacks who have had three games or more in a season where they threw for four touchdowns. Jimmy Garoppolo has done that now. And to be honest, it's a very real chance he throws four touchdowns again this season. Most likely, again, it gets a very bad secondary against the uh, Falcons on Sunday is a very real possibility. So I always like to kind of go pro Jimmy Garoppolo on this stuff as I can because he's been a huge part as to why we are winning this many football games. But now he's in the record books next to Steve Young and Jeff Garcia in terms of the team players, the team quarterbacks in Niner history who have thrown at least three four uh, touchdown games. You got to think about that. Three games of four touchdowns in Niner history. Congratulations, Jimmy, Jimmy Garoppolo. We mentioned Pro Bowlers earlier. I'm going to scroll down and see if you guys think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be a Pro Bowler. I think he's at least an alternate. Now, he should be a starter, but at least an alternate in the NFC. Russell Wilson will probably be the starter because he's had better stats overall. But 
the same time. I think Jimmy Garoppolo most likely will be down. Uh, is it in Orlando or in Miami this year? I think it's in Orlando for the Pro Bowl. No longer in Hawaii, which is super lame, but it will be in, in Orlando. And uh, Jimmy Garoppolo hoping that he's going to be there based off of the performances this year. There we go. A injury news heavy uh, 49ers report here on the Chat Sports Only 49ers YouTube channel. Again, the Rickberg injury, the Sherman injury, D Ford, you go down the list, DJ Jones, Kawan Williams. It's later on in the year. It's a, it's a war of attrition out there in the National Football League. People get injured all the time. None of them are that serious besides the center, Weston Rickberg. Other than that, most of them should be able to return by the postseason, but we'll keep an eye on that for you guys here. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, at RealThomasMott. That way you guys can be notified whenever these injuries are updated, whenever things occur. Again, at the time of recording this, those are all your latest injuries, so check back on Thursday. We're doing a live Q&A at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time where I'm sure I'll update you guys on some of the other injuries happening uh, as the week progresses. All time we have for today, for Chat Sports, I'm Thomas Mott signing off. Enjoy the rest of your day.